hey guys welcome back to my channel so for this video i have an unboxing to share with you guys and it is from n beads i will have their uh, website linked in the description box um, as well as the products that i share with you and um, i do believe they gave me a code to share with you all so it will be in the description box as well for you to use and uh, on your order to save a little money so i did already um Opened some things just to make it a little less rattly um, when I recorded the video. So, the first thing, this is a little rattly actually, are these beads. Would you look at how gorgeous these are? So, you get, I think it was like four sets of, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Five sets of four, and in each set was, um, let's see, a plain one. This um, weird, uh, I don't know, metallic, shiny, textured. Um, and then, let's see. This, um, I call it a disco ball. And then, the polka dot one. So, you got 20 in all. And I just love the different textures. Um, the different shades of pink. I love the polka dots. That one with that iridescent uh, disco ball effect. And this one is just... It makes me think of what pink aluminum foil might look like if you wrapped it around something. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about playing with those. And then, um, okay, so this uh, this item, um, when I chose it, it looked pink. To me, this looks red. Maybe when it melts, it'll turn out pink. I don't know if you can see that it's kind of transparent. Like you can see that dark line through it. So maybe it'll come out more pink looking uh, when I play with it. But I had an idea for these. Um, I wanted to try some colored glue sticks. And I have some molds that I wanted to play with. So that will be fun. And I have misplaced my... Let's see. Nope, I don't think I have it. Misplaced my sheet with the prices, um, but everything was very affordable and, there, and nothing was too expensive. Um, and then this, you get 50 in this, and they did have different colors. I think you could get a mixed bag or, um, like this, a pack of 50 of one color. So there's those colored glue sticks. And then, let's see. Um, I grabbed some of these, um, let's see, I don't see on here, um, they're like the backs of earrings though, and they're tiny ones, um, and I'm using these for pokey tools, um, I had some larger ones, and I just didn't like the way the big ones looked on the pokey tool, so I thought I would give these a try and see if they look better, um, they look like they will fit, it does look like a tiny hole, but they're like silicone, so they'll stretch and I think this will look better. So I'll be giving that a try. Next are these pink flat backs. And they are like flat back cabochons. Um, but they have these little gold flecks in them. Um, and it's even, I think maybe glitter too. It looks like glitter and gold flecks. I hope you guys can see that. Super pretty. I cannot wait to use those on some projects. And there are 20 in this bag. And they do have like different quantities. So you could probably get a larger quantity if you wanted. So there's those. And I grabbed this stamp set. A B-themed stamp set here. Um, and I didn't realize until I opened it that it's actually two. I had that lined up pretty good there, didn't I? <laughs> so, um, you get, I uh, hope your day is be lightful. Happy B day to a sweet friend. Hello, honey. Be happy and thanks the zzz for your help. And you get this cute little fat one there. And then this is like a little person dressed up as a bee. And then in that little comb shaped piece there, I thought that would make a fun little card. Or little ATCs. Anything you want to use it on, really. 
Um, and like I said, it came with two sets. And so, yeah, that was a great deal. Those will be fun to play with. And then, let's see. I got this stamp set. I should have grabbed. Let me see if that will show on this piece of paper. So... Got this cute girl. She's on her laptop here. Um, this one's standing there with her little jacket and shorts with her dog. She's got her hand in her pocket. Um, and then it comes with these adorable little bows. And then you get, um, this is like a, I don't know, a little arch of flowers with a banner. Let's see. You get these flowers over here. The girl on the moped. And then the flowers over here are also on her little bike there. Super adorable. And that says, A Happy Life for Girls. Super adorable. I just thought that was so sweet. And these will be really fun to color. Um, there are a lot of details. So if you do like coloring um, in cards or watercoloring, this has got some super good detail. Really pretty lines. So yeah, that is super adorable. And... Oh, I also grabbed, and I know it's a little late now, which is my fault for not getting this video done sooner, um, but I grabbed this spiderweb silicone mold. Um, I've seen some people hauling these little spiderwebs, and I think they may have been acrylic, um, but they weren't very thick. They were um, pretty thin, and they were really great and looked really good on projects for layering. So I thought I would give it a try with this and make my own and be able to make them in different colors. And I love Halloween. So to me, it doesn't matter that Halloween is past now. I'm still going to be doing Halloween projects and sharing some things with you guys. Um, so yeah, little spider web silicone mold. Let's see. Oh, I grabbed a spoon for, well, mel bleh, sorry, melting wax. Um, I have a set with some wax and a spoon and, you know, the candle and all. And, um, I found it when I wanted to do different colors or multitask, just the one spoon. Um, it, it was a little complicated to change out colors. So I wanted to have another spoon on hand to be able to, this is melting over here. Let me pour and do this while that's melting. So yeah, I grabbed another spoon. And this one, these came in a bag together, and I believe it was only like a dollar, like maybe a dollar twenty. So you get both of these bone folders. I'm always misplacing my bone folders. I can't tell you how many I have. So I thought I would grab a set of bone folders. Um, and these are, they're so thick. Like I don't know if that would break, but it's hard to bend that. And it's very long. Um, it's longer than my hand. And I like that it has the long, flat surface for, you know, if we need to scrape or apply pressure um, to any of our projects. Spread glue, anything like that. And then the curved one. And then it's skinnier there on the end and thicker on this end. So I feel like these would be a really good set of bone folders to have in a stash. Okay, and back to um, resin. I mentioned resin for the mold. I've been wanting to make some personalized um, embellishments and keychains, um, things like that. So I grabbed this alphabet mold. So it's um, A through Z, and then one through nine and a zero. And they're just the right size. I didn't want them to be way big, but I wanted them to be small. And I thought this was just the perfect size. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I grew up these little clay hearts to use as little embellishments, maybe with a sequin mix, um, different things like that. Um, this bag came in, uh, it's not amount of pieces, it's a 50 gram bag. But it's got so many different colors in there. Different pinks. Let's see, purple, green, blue, orange yellow green I may have repeated something <laughs> but there's different colored pinks um, I see white 
so yeah they give an extra touch to a project and they are really fun to use in shakers so I will be using that in a project I also grabbed these beatable pens you can buy them in a set of three um, or I think they also had a bigger lot uh, but it was like maybe it was only a few bucks for the set of three I chose gold uh, they did have lots of other colors to choose from so you have your pen here you turn it to open it and then this end you unscrew that little piece on the end Ooh, goes a lot let's see if these will fit yes so the ones i just got even fit on here um that's neat i think maybe three would fit or you could do lots of smaller ones um, and then you just put your little thing back on tighten it up and there's a little beaded pen these are super fun to play with i have seen some amazing beadwork done with these pens from others and i thought i would grab them and give it a try as well i think i'm spinning the beads instead Oh, I unscrewed the wrong end. Okay, so be careful when you're unscrewing it. I was unscrewing this, but I was actually unscrewing this. So you just learned that lesson from me. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put this back in here. Screw that back on. Um, we do want that tight, but you want to, I think... Well, if you have a grip on it, you can still get it undone and not the end you don't want. So, anyway, there's those. And then, last but not least, uh, when I do my resin work or with hot glue, um, I end up making a mess. I actually have something spots on my desk here where I've made a mess, and this is not a nonstick mat. This was meant to be a backdrop. So, I grabbed a silicone mat as well, and it does stay in place, but my main, um, main idea for this is just to have something for resin or glue to spill onto so I can get it up off there. You can see it's only moving because my mat is moving, so yeah. I grabbed that. I did not see different colors, um, that's why there's, I got blue. I probably would have gotten a pink um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you like the goodies i grabbed and i will be back as soon as i can to share some projects with you all um using these items and some other things from my stash and yeah that is it for this video uh i will catch you guys on the next crafty one and check out the links in the description box. Bye-bye.